In this exercise, we're going to calculate the present value of an uneven series of cash flows using both an algebraic formula and an Excel function. Again, make sure we link to the interest rate up here in cell uh, G1. So equals, our present value is equal to the future value divided by 1 plus R to the N. So equals our future value divided by the quantity 1 plus, again, link to our interest rate. We need to anchor that to the first power. Now when I copy this across, notice I'm still always going to sell G1, which is where my interest rate is. I'm also going, because of my relative cell reference, to the cash flow right above and to the year right above. Again, notice the relative cell references change as I copy the formula but the absolute cell reference to cell G1 remains constant. Then simply to find the present value of the, all the cash flows, we use our sum function, and we can add all of those up. So equals sum, highlight my cash flows in row 9, coming over to column G, there we have it, using an Excel function. Again, I want to do the same thing with my relative and absolute cell references. Equals present value. Let's go ahead and pull up the uh, function wizard, fx. My rate, that's cell G1, and again, anchoring that. The number of periods, one period. Payment is zero. That would be for an annuity, and we don't have a constant series of payments over a period of time. Our cash flows are different each year. The cash flow we're going to receive in year one is equal to us. Put in equals, uh, put in minus, and click on our 574. And again, I can copy that across, and then simply sum the cash flows up. And there we have it.